What's happening guys, my name is Nicholas Renault and in this video we're going to be taking a look at text summarization with the Hugging Face Transformers package. So we'll be able to take a huge block of text, pass it to our transformer pipeline and get a summarized version of it. Let's take a deeper look as to what we're going to be going through. So in this video we're going to be covering three key things. So first up we're going to start out by installing the Hugging Face Transformers library. Then what we're going to do is build a summarization pipeline. Now a cool thing about the Hugging Face Transformers library is that you've got a whole heap of pre-trained pipelines that you can just pick up and use without having to do a whole heap of training. Then what we're going to do is grab part of a blog post, pass it to our summarization pipeline, and then take a look at our summarized result. Now let's take a look as to how this is all going to fit together. So the first thing that we're going to do is import the Hugging Face Transformers library into our notebook, and specifically we're going to be using the pipeline method for that. Then we're going to build and download one of those pre-trained pipelines, so you'll see how to download that automatically. And then what we're going to do is summarize our blog post, and we'll switch out a bunch of articles to see what these actually look like. Ready to do it? Let's get to it. Alrighty, so in order to build our summarizer, there's three key things that we need to do. So first up, we need to install the Hugging Face Transformers library and import it as a dependency. Then what we're going to do is load a pre-trained summarization pipeline to allow us to perform our summarization. Then last but not least, we're actually going to go on ahead and summarize our text. So we'll pass through a block of text, run it through our pipeline, and ideally we should get a summary back. So first up, let's start out by installing the Hugging Face Transformers library. Now in this particular case, we're going to be running through the standard installation, which is just a pip install transformers, but you can use some of the other installation methods if you want to. The baseline installation tends to work pretty well. So we're going to jump back into our notebook and we're going to go on ahead and install it. Now again, all the links mentioned in this video, as well as the completed code will be available in the description below. So if you want to grab that, by all means, check it out. So let's go on ahead and install transformers. Alrighty, so that's Transformers are now installed. So in order to do that, we've just written exclamation mark pip install Transformers, exactly as you saw in the documentation. So this is going to install the Transformers library inside of our Jupyter Notebook environment. Now the next thing that we need to do is actually import it as a dependency. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so that's our dependency imported. So in order to do that, written from Transformers import pipeline. So our pipeline is going to give us a method that allows us to easily download and use a summarization pipeline. So rather than having to go on ahead and train a huge language model, we're actually able to leverage the pre-built summarization pipeline that Hugging Face has. Now, one of the cool things as well is that Hugging Face has so many different NLP-based capabilities. So if you'd like to see me do more videos on this, by all means, leave a mention in the comments below. But in this case, we're going to be using the summarization pipeline. So what we're next going to do is actually load that into our notebook. So let's go on ahead and do it. Perfect, so that's our summarization pipeline imported and loaded. Now, one of the key things is right now, I already had the summarization pipeline downloaded, so it went reasonably quickly. But if you're doing this for the first time, what it's actually going to do automatically is download that summarization pipeline into your local machine. So this might take a little bit longer, but it'll happen all automatically. You just need to write that same line of code. Now, that line of code that we actually wrote is basically one single line. And what we've done is we've created a new variable called summarizer and then we've set it equal to pipeline, and then to that we've passed through an argument that says summarization. So this basically tells our Hugging Face Transformers pipeline that we want to use the summarization pipeline, or the pre-trained summarization pipeline, and it brings it into our notebook. So we can then use this summarizer that you see over here to actually pass through our text and generate a summary. Now on that bit, we actually need some text. So we're going to grab part of a blog post from Hacker Noon and try to summarize that. So we'll first up create a new variable called article, and we're going to leave it empty for now. And then what we're going to do is paste in some text. So if we go to Hacker Noon, I found this article which basically tells us this should be taught in entrepreneurship classes. So a little bit of a clickbait title, but rather than actually going through and reading the entire article, we might just choose to summarize it. So say we went and copied this part of our text. Now, a key thing to note is the pre-trained summarization pipeline that you're seeing here does have a bit of a limit as to how large of an article it can summarize. So in this case, I'm just copying part of a blog post. 
If you'd like to see how we might approach a longer blog post, by all means, leave a mention in the comments below and we'll take a look at how we can do that in a future video. In this case, we're gonna grab this block of text, paste it into our article variable. So you can see I've just copied and pasted it into there. And now the next thing that we're going to do is actually start using our summarizer that we created up here. So we're going to pass through our article and set a couple of other keyword parameters. So let's go on ahead and do that. And there you go. So we've now gone and generated a summary. Before I delve into that, let's take a look at the code that we wrote. So as I said, we we're going to be using our summarizer that we created up here. And then to that, we're passing through four different things. So our first argument is the article. So this is the text that we want to pass through. This could also just be reworded as text. Then the next three arguments are all keyword arguments. So the first one that we're doing is we're setting the maximum length. And this is the maximum number of words that we want our summarizer to return. We're setting our minimum length. So this is the minimum number of words that we want our summarizer to return. And then we're setting do underscore sample equal to false. So this basically tells our summarizer that we want to use a greedy decoder. Now what that basically means is that we're going to return back each word. So when we actually return this sequence, what we're doing is we're returning back the next word which has the highest probability of actually making sense. There's a whole bunch of different decoder methods and I found this great blog post, again, I'll link to it in the description that actually visualizes what each one of the decoder structures look like. So whether or not you're looking at beam search, whether or not you're taking a look at pure sampling, which is what would happen if we set that to true, whether or not we're looking at greedy, I think greedy's in there as well, it was around here. So you can see that we're currently using the greedy decoder by setting this to false. Basically, there are different ways of determining what word to return next. Now, let's actually take a look at our summary. So you can see here that we've got our summary text, and in this case, it's returned back the sentence. So entrepreneurship is rotten at its very core, and one way to fix it, I don't know if it is truly rotten at its very core, but that's the summary. So it's rotten at its very core, and one way to fix it is to change some of the things we teach about it in business school. So safety nets, shortcut, and the five should be explained to young ones to prep them for modern entrepreneurship. So you can see it's actually returned back a pretty good summary. Now we could sub this out and paste through different text. So in this case, I was actually taking a look at a different Hacker Noon article not too long ago, which is all about uh, biometric fingerprinting for timesheets for employees. So something uh, a little bit topical and a little bit controversial. Now, if we paste that text in, let's see the summary that we get back. And again, we can run our summarizer pipeline. And so the summary that we're getting back this time, so employers are starting to use time clock machines that fingerprint employees, exactly as I was saying. The machines are tied to your unique characteristics such as your face, your fingerprints, how you talk, and even how you walk. The Center for Disease Control says the coronavirus can remain on surfaces for hours. And I think it started to talk about how that could potentially be a bit of an issue given the current pandemic. Now, another thing that's important to note as well is if you wanted to just grab this text, it's really just some standard Python functionality to get it out. So say we stored our result inside of a variable called text. Really should be summary. Let's change that. So to grab this particular block of text, we'd first up need to go inside of the array and grab the first result. So let's do that first. Then to grab the text, we can use this key and grab it out. And there you go. So we've now gone and grabbed our explicit block of text. And you'll be able to see that this is in fact, or does in fact meet each of our keyword parameters so max length and min length. So if we split it, you can see that it's clearing our minimum length and it's clearing our maximum length as well. So in this case, it has actually met our keyword parameters. But that about summarizes how to actually build a summarizer using Hugging Face Transformers. Now again, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more stuff with Hugging Face and their amazing transformer library. But for now, that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell so you get notified of when I release future videos. And let me know what you went about summarizing. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace.